Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range. Now we're going to do a comparison with two very nice handguns. Here we have the Ruger American Compact versus the Walther PPQ Subcompact. Both polymer frame striker fire handguns that have some similar features, but some different things that set them apart. Both have three and a half inch barrels. Let's start with the Ruger American. Very nice gun. This is the compact model, the larger Ruger American, sort of the same thing, but this is a little bit smaller. They have grip modules. This whole piece here that can be changed out to fit the shooter's hand size. It's a nice feature. 12 rounds in the magazine, and it also accepts the larger mags from the full-size Ruger American. Six pound trigger, a pick rail, Novak three dot sights, uh, ambidextrous with both the magazine release and the slide stop. Sight hole indicator and a nice shooter. It's loaded weight with 12 rounds, 33 and a quarter ounces. Let's see how it does. And there we go. I've always held this gun in high regard. I really do like it and I've always liked the American. I said from the onset when Ruger came out with the American that that was their best semi-auto handgun to date. But here we have the PPQ subcompact. Now the full-size PPQ is an amazing gun. There's no disputing that. This is like the American the same thing just a little bit smaller it's got a short grip here it also accepts the larger ppq mags it has a sweet five and a half pound trigger also a pick rail front serrations three dot sights sight hole indicator and this is also ambidextrous with the slide stop nice handgun all in all and i have always enjoyed this one too that's what makes this competition or this comparison so close I already mentioned uh, three and a half inch barrel and it accepts the larger Ruger PPQ mags. Let's take a few shots. All right, PPQ, nice shooting handgun. And typically when I compare the PPQ, it's hard to beat, it really is hard to beat. So these are two good handguns. They're very nice. What I'm wondering is, which one do you prefer the most? Well, let me give you my opinion. Um, I was waiting to shoot these side by side. I actually shot the PPQ better in this comparison, but there have been other times I shot the American Compact better. So I can't base my opinion on what you just saw. <laughs> if that was the case, I'd choose the PPQ subcompact, but in this case, I'm actually going with the Ruger American. It's a little bit heavier, all right, but I really enjoy its overall feel. I think it's very well balanced, and I do like the way they have that magazine there for three-figure contact. When I fire it, it feels just like the full-size American. Now, the PPQ subcompact is amazing, and I thought when I first got this that they would make uh, additional base plates so that three-figure contact can be had with this and I it may be out there I, I've checked a little bit I haven't seen it but this actually offers two-figure contact is that a deal breaker no it shoots amazing and it always has since the day I got it so this was a tough one for me very much but I I'm making a call I'm going with this one and I'll say this is just a micro millimeter whatever that means uh, a little bit behind in this comparison I want to know what you think if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe